So the second inquiry by the cross-party group on rural growth took evidence from academia, from local council leaders, WLGA, and from house builders, as we took evidence looking at the link between planning and house building and the rural economy. So this is really important because if we're going to have a thriving rural economy in Wales, then we're going to need places for people to live. It's as simple as that. So it was a real focus uh, around house building and then looking at the planning uh, situation in Wales as well within local authorities and how they are real enablers to the economy and how the economic growth and a proactive planning department really go hand in glove as we try and boost our rural economy. And one of the key issues that was raised around this, and this if, um, impacts on house building and impacts on business development as well, is the phosphate levels that we have in our rivers and waterways at the moment in Wales. So we need to overcome that challenge. We need to be able to build in a way that is um, uh, economically and environmentally sensitive but without having a proactive planning department, a department that is an enabling one, which turns around and says to someone who's putting in an application, well, we can't do it that way, but have you thought about this way rather than just shutting the door on them? I think that's going to be a key driver to boosting our economy in rural Wales. And just a big thank you to everybody who took part in the second evidence session as we look to come forward with a tangible policy uh, that we can put to Welsh Government to boost rural productivity and the economy in Wales.